Jacobs, head golf professional from the Michael Jacobs Explosive Golf School. Welcome to the Explosive Golf Show. And the topic of today's show is the head. One of the biggest misnomers in golf and one of the most popular little tips that you ever get from anyone when you're out there is you'll hit a shot and it'll be a low line driving shot and the most common thing your playing partner will say to you or someone will say to you is oh you pick your head up try to keep your head down more next time so the next time you're hitting the ball you're getting your head down a little lower and you're, you're so focused on keeping your head bound on the ball and focused at the ball that uh, no matter what happens if things flies up and you say to yourself wow well, no matter what I do I can't keep my head down on the on the ball and I'm going to show you where this all fits in and where the real truth is when it relates to your head. So let's get started. All right, so let's examine what the head should be doing, what it has done to golfers, and really what it has done to the entire game when it comes to instruction and what people are trying to do. Now, your head probably weighs a lot. Um, I don't know. I didn't look it up. I would say 10 to 20 pounds, maybe 15 pounds, whatever your head's going to weigh. So it takes a lot for it to move. Now, when we're talking about hitting shots and what golfers normally term picking your head up and lifting your head up and taking your eyes off the ball and I hit better when my eyes are on the ball, well here's why. It's what I call golfer's whiplash. Uh, this is an explosive golf term and what's happening to golfers is when their arms and club are moving upward into the impact, it gives the golfer a whiplashing when the arms are moving up, it gives them a whiplashing effect of the head and neck, which makes their eyes wander up and the head and neck pop up. So the answer is not to try to keep your head down more. The answer is to train yourself to have your arms, hands, and club approach the ball properly so that this 15-pound head or so can stay where you want it to with your eyes into the turf longer. It's when I try to work the club under the ball and the club makes an upward move to the impact is to where that head whiplashes back, the back whiplashes, and the eyes wander off the ball. So most people out there are saying, oh, I topped it along the ground, I picked my head up again. What you're doing is you're picking your arms and club up as you come into the impact, which is then whiplashing your head up. So what do we have to do? Well. Usually the culprits for this are as follows. Number one is somebody's poor concept of what impact with the ball should be. And a sound impact would have that club approaching the, approaching the ball in its playing position. Its playing position is not where a club is trying to work under the ball, but that's what most people are doing. Most people are trying to work under it instead of returning it its playing position. So its playing position would feel like a downward thrust to the golfer. So what a lot of golfers do is they try to keep their head down, they try to keep their head buried, and it gives them an inadequate pivot where that club works too low on the backswing, too flat below that right shoulder, so that by the time they try to get into the impact, they end up working the club up and getting whiplashed back. So the first move you're going to want to make is to work on your backswing. You're going to want to understand that this head should not be perfectly fixed over the ball and stuck over the ball. It should have freedom to want to move. So a little drill to help you with your backswing, and I've been mentioning this a lot, so here's my uh, little way of demonstrating it to you, is if I took a club and I put it across my chest, perfectly across my chest like this, and I assumed my golf position, what I'm going to want to do, my eyes are obviously on the ball, what I'm going to want to do is as I make my backswing, I'm going to want to try to keep this club parallel to the ground, level to the ground the whole time, and you'll see how your head will take the proper move on the backswing. I mean, it's not like I'm saying go out and move your head, but if your neck is free as you make a sound pivot, that head and that neck might start to find itself more over your back foot as you reach the top of your backswing. So club across your chest, try to get that left chest over that right foot, your neck more towards your right foot as you keep this club level. If I tried to keep my head buried, 
this club would wander up and down. And that's that inadequate pivot that I talked about in the pivot show and what I'm going to discuss in my up and coming DVD, the dynamite downswing. But let's get into this some more. So it's a free pivot which allows our head and a good concept of shooting a straighter line down on the ball which allows us to not have our head get whiplashed. So as you're working on that pivot, you're going to want to blend your arms. And there's the six inch drill, which was one of our latest video tips in the video tip archive section of the website. You should go there and check out the six inch drill. And what that allow you to do is blend that body pivot to where that club would be staying level, to where that arms and club climb up over the right shoulder. Just like as if I was trying to throw a ball into the ground, similar to that. Imagine trying to do that by keeping your head buried over the ball. Not a good idea. So you're going to want to train yourself to get that club up over that shoulder. So now here we can make that move where that right shoulder works towards the ball and you can start to sense that downward strike to where that head will appear like your eyes are able to stay in the turf longer instead of to where they're whiplashing up where you get the sensation that you're picking your head up. So. I hope you enjoyed this explosive golf show. It was a short little show, but I think it's an important show because if you went to any golf course in America worldwide, you would probably find 90 to 95 percent of golfers out there trying desperately to keep their head down, keep their eyes pressed over the ball, and yet they have a poor concept of, number one, the trajectory of the stroke, but also on how that club should meet the ball. Most of them are trying to work the ball up and what happens then is an automatic whiplash of the neck. And they're trying to stay down on it more and bury themselves more, and they keep whiplashing up. So, hope that got your head on straight. Hope you enjoyed the explosive golf show about keeping your eye on the ball. I'll see you at the next show or tip. We're out on the lesson tee. Right now, we're out in the middle of the driving range. I drove a cart out in the middle of the range, and looking back at the beautiful Rock Hill Country Club, my little teaching area, my enclosed teaching area for inclement weather is up there. So come on out, take some golf lessons. We've been having a great season, and I'll see you soon. This is Michael Jacobs from the Michael Jacobs Explosive Golf School. Thank you.